everybody, it's Brock, and we got a brand new episode of All About. This has been a highly requested fish for the series. I just had the hardest time getting some footage of them over the years, but finally ran into one that was real healthy and out and about swimming around and was able to get some good close-up shots of them. Today, we're going to be learning all about the chalk bass. This is a fish that I love to recommend to beginners in the hobby because they are very hardy fish. They aren't overly aggressive towards your other fish that you might add later, and they tend to adapt quickly to the tank setting, whether it's just living in there, not doing anything too crazy against your inverts, your corals, your other fish, and just also being quick to eat what you feed them. Even better, at Aura, they are sustainably breeding them, so most of the ones you are getting are no longer even from the wild. Chalk bass usually cost about $40 to get one and should be housed in a 30 gallon tank or larger. A good setup, plenty of live rock with caves and overhangings for him to go into during the night and explore during the day. In the wild, they stick close to the reefs looking for their next meal and darting quickly into the small caverns to avoid predators. You usually will see a few of them, like three to four, sometimes even more around one little rock all hanging out together, kind of leading the pack. Care level is very easy. Temper, I'd say, would be semi-aggressive, almost peaceful though. The only issues I've dealt with is as they got older, you can see them being a bit more dominant over your inverts and other small fish. Otherwise, I really had no issues putting them with just about everything. They are reef safe. They're not going to mess with any of your corals, so don't have to worry about that. If anything, it'll make them feel like they're in the Caribbeans inside a reef tank, so they'll be right at home. Temperature you want to keep it at 72 to 78 degrees, BKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. So everything's basic there. That's your basic levels. You know, keep up with your water changes. Watch your levels. Make sure those ammonias, the nitrates, nitrites stay in check, and you'll be just fine with this guy. The max size you'll see them get by adulthood is only about 3 inches. So they stay fairly small and won't outgrow a tank causing you to upgrade in the future. So they're going to stay small for you. Another really cool thing about the chalk bass is they're hermaphrodites. Which is another reason why they've had such good luck with breeding them in the tank setting. The colors on chalk bass are white bellies and these neon blue stripes going up and down them with black and pink accents alternating those stripes. They look really good against some reefs under the LED lights. They look awesome. It looks almost like those neon fish in the freshwater tanks. They are carnivores, so they are going to need a very meaty diet. Things like mysis, brine, krill, even bloodworms are all good choices for the bass to stay healthy and look great in the aquarium. You can even feed them pellets and flakes too whenever you're out of town, or if you're just trying to get some more vitamins in them. A lot of times those flakes and pellets are good about having that nutrition in them, so you can give those too. They do come from the Caribbean. So you'll usually see them in groups together. You can also do this in the tank, but make sure you add them at the same time because we usually saw aggression adding them at separate times. So if you had one now, then a couple months or a year down the line, you added another. They always just seem to be too territorial for that new chalk bass coming into the tank. Adding multiple bass in the tank together also helps them be less shy as they'll stay as a pack when moving around the tank. So it's a really cool thing that you'll get to see. Adding them with peaceful to semi-aggressive reef fish will leave them very happy in their environment. Hangs, gobies, clowns, wrasse, all those are going to do really well with the chalk bass. And I know I keep mentioning Aura. Stands for Oceans, Reefs, and Aquariums. They're known for being one of the largest marine hatcheries and are constantly pushing the limits to sustainability in this hobby. So check them out. They do a lot of really cool things out there, especially if you're wanting to stick to only getting those sustainable fish in your aquarium. Chalk bass are known to change colors depending on their tank or environment that they're placed in. So that means what you see in the store or online might not be what they end up as in your tank. This is going to allow them to camouflage themselves to the surrounding area so that they can dart away quick from predators. One thing to keep in mind when feeding the chalk bass is they are notoriously bad about constantly eating even when they might be full. They can literally eat themselves to death. So it might be in your best interest to keep the power heads on when feeding to push that food in all directions so that everyone gets a chance to eat. 
or if you have two people at the house, get somebody feeding the chalk bass on one end and have them dropping food on the other end for the other fish to come up and eat because they can be very aggressive when it comes to feeding times. They will definitely be the first one up there and they are not afraid to push other fish out of the way. And after that, that'll do it for today's episode on the chalk bass. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Hope it gives you a good high level of what this fish will take to take care of and what they'll do well with in other aquariums. So once you see this video, hopefully it gives you a good idea if you want to take one home or not. If you have any more specific questions or additional information to leave down below, that's always going to help the future hobbyists to see it in case you've experienced something new and something different from what I haven't said. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope everybody has a good week this week, and I will see y'all later.